Well, I got a church sign, people. It's it's kind of confusing to me, but then again, I've been confused before. But for God loved, so loved the world that He gave His Son. Hmm. Wow. I don't know what to say about that. I remember when I was a little bitty kid. I'm talking about a little bitty kid. And I was at Baptist Church, First Baptist, Greenville, Mississippi. And I heard him talking about his father gave him as a living sacrifice. It didn't go over with me good then and it don't go over good with me now. I got to just say that. I just got to put it out there and tell you. If, if we're in a world where that kind of creator being needs to be able to do something that dramatic to get the attention of the Bible to people to be able to understand what he's trying to say, it's confusing. I don't care how old you are and how long you've studied the Bible, every time you probably come across that, you get a little frog in your throat and you think, I really don't understand that. But see, I'm, I'm just the kind that'll make a video out, out of it and put it out there for people to think about. I'm not saying this didn't happen. I'm not saying God is that kind of person where, you know, that even sounds stupid to say person. That's one of the biggest problems. People think God's a person. A person can give their daughter away, their son away, their wife away, and do all kinds of things. That's a person for you. But a creator being that is corrupt could tell you the story about how the creator gave his son away. But see, we're not told about who created us and how we've been lied to in this world. I'm under the understanding that everything we've ever been told is a lie. Uh, just about everything. Science, physics, time, how we age, why we age in time, where we go when we die, why do we die? I mean, everybody knows why we die. The damn body gives out or gets hit by a car or something. <laughs> I mean, that's not, you know, rocket science. But um, if we're eternal beings and our Father loves us, there's really nothing else to worry about. You try to figure out who God is. You'll spend a lifetime looking outside yourself. But when you actually turn and look within to see where all the suffering and all the confusion and all the anguish that you feel because you think your father would give you away, then you might find who God is. Then you might ask good questions from here on out. Then you might build up a little confidence and not be afraid to say something like, that story don't make no damn sense. And you don't care who hears it. I don't care. Who hears it? The damn story don't make no sense. It's been confused and lied about, twisted, demonic. I lost a lot of friends probably right there. <laughs> I don't care. I need like-minded people that want to hear from the inside out, not the outside in. I don't want to put a mask on and go to church and tell people I understand this. Why would I do that? Okay. I've got that story confused enough for most of y'all now. <laughs> but the whole thing is, is what Jesus said. And Yahshua ben Joseph, whatever his name was, it don't matter. But some of the letters that are in red make a whole lot of sense. Especially when you hear it in, term in, 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 in 
translations from other books that were left out of the Bible. Then you get to realizing what the man was trying to tell you that the kingdom of God was within you. Don't look outside of yourself to find a preacher or a guru or a teacher. You got to be the healer, the physician. You got to be the science teacher. You got to be the journalist within yourself. You can't just be told walk through life and everybody says this and say that and you go yeah that's a true story ain't it that really sh that stuff happened like you saying ain't it you telling me the truth ain't you preacher he don't know he's telling a a misnomer all he's doing is telling you what he heard from his daddy and his daddy and his daddy heard ain't none of them really stopped to look at their the truth or the evidence about what really takes place in this great deception that we call life. If they do, they'll wake up. And I know a bunch of teachers and preachers and uh, men of God that came out of church and they just didn't want nothing else to do with teaching something that they couldn't convince the whole world of what they were seeing. They had to quit preaching because they realize that it ain't telling you what you are or who you are and it ain't really giving you the information that you need to be able to transfer suffering into a peaceful mind that's what's missing in it all right <laughs> i gotta go people let me get my hand right i'm, I'm gonna slap myself <laughs> on this one <laughs> Nothing could have prepared the audience for what they were to witness at the 1996 International Chinese Internal Arts Festival. A glimpse of the true nature and higher potential of Qi power.